ChatGPT is really smart, but is it smart enough to come up with patentable invention ideas? In this video, I'm going to show you how I've been using ChatGPT recently to come up with patentable invention ideas, just like I do with human inventors in my practice as a patent attorney, and also how ChatGPT and other AIs might actually be named as inventors on patents. The story of how ChatGPT can come up with patentable ideas and potentially be named as an inventor on patents starts with how this happens with human inventors. It's important to first understand that the rights by default are in the name of the inventors and these inventors have to assign their rights to a company that will ultimately own the patent rights. So to be named as an inventor, the person has to have made a contribution to at least one claim of the patent application, even if that's a really small one. Now, it's important to name all of the true inventors, not to name additional people and not to name fewer people, because that can result in loss of patent rights, including invalidation of the patent. Inventing can happen in a lot of different ways, and one is a brainstorming session where a group of inventors gets together and will come up with potentially patentable product ideas. This may be, of course, to come up with product ideas for a company that they will actually manufacture and sell, or it could just be for the purpose of coming up with patentable ideas that are just gonna be the subject of patent applications that may not actually be used by the company. So as a patent attorney, I've been in a lot of these brainstorming sessions and interacted with these co-inventors, and I've recently been experimenting with ChatGPT to see if ChatGPT could be used to come up with patentable invention ideas in a brainstorming session like this. And I can tell you that the results have been really surprising and extraordinary to the point where if if ChatGPT were a human contributor in one of these sessions, I would definitely want to name them as a co-inventor on any patent application that we filed on any intellectual property that came up during one of these sessions. So here's an example of an interaction that I had with ChatGPT trying to come up with sort of this theoretical invention of a robotic exoskeleton fighting robot. So I started out with a general question. So just give me an algorithm for an upper body exoskeleton robot. And ChatGPT did a good job of giving a general control algorithm, which is a good place to start. But with any sort of invention session like this, you wanna drill down in the specifics of how things are, are done and not just the what. That's where patentability is gonna be. So then I asked it, okay, how could you, how could you uh, determine that a user is punching with this exoskeleton? And then it gave some interesting examples, things like motion capture, machine learning, uh, pretty fine movement patterns, user input. Okay, so then, you know, again, you want to drill down on, on the specifics. And here, I thought it was going to be interesting. Well, what about an autonomous robot that could work on its own, not with external cameras? So what about sensors on the body of a user? And then it gives some example of, of sensors and how they can be used, which is pretty good information. So for me, it was, it, I, I was like, okay, well, what about accelerometers? Let's drill down in the specifics of how accelerometers would work. So I said, how could you uh, use accelerometers to, to detect punches? That's where patentable stuff is gonna start uh, coming out. And it gave some good examples of accelerometers, how they're used. But to me, really the key thing that came out of this, and this is what really started to come into some really interesting patentable territory, was how would you infer that a punch is actually being thrown, okay? What would be the algorithm for that? Because that's where you're gonna start getting into how things are actually patentable. So that's what I ask next. And this is where I started to get into some really, really interesting things. And this is the kind of stuff that I would really want to get out of inventors, either in an inventing session like this or in an invention disclosure. Patentability is going to be in, a, in an algorithm or in a method. And here, ChatGPT does a really good job of having a bunch of specific method steps. And this is the kind of stuff that's going to be immediately transferable into a patent application. And I was curious to see, well, okay, you know, I, usually what I would do is I would I would translate this into a description and I would d d you know d also create patent claims out of it. But could ChatGPT actually directly write patent claims? It initially said, well, no, I'm not able to do that. I'm uncomfortable <laughs> drafting patent claims, but then went ahead and actually gave me a patent claim, which, you know, is it amazing? No, but it's actually drafting patent claims and if you think about what the test is to be added as an inventor, they have to contribute to at least one claim of a patent application. And that's kind of what it's doing here. Okay, so I wanted to sort of, you know, drive this point home. And I asked it if it could draft some dependent patent claims. And it came up with 
some really great examples. Now, aside from just showing that ChatGPT is contributing to patent claims, you know, in what would become a patent application, something like this can be used actually to drill down into specifics. And it comes up with some great examples here. And if this was a ro more robust session, I think what I would do is I would go into specifics of each of those. And again, ask those questions of how are these things done? Give me some more examples. But I really wanted to see, okay, what are, what are some other examples of this? So I asked it about some additional dependent claims and it came up with seven other additional great examples. So, you know, again, you want to drill down into the specifics of this. It's about the how and not just the what. And so ideally, yeah, I'd want to get more detail on all the specifics of this. But where things really get interesting is, let's say theoretically this wasn't an AI. What if this was another person on the other side of a chat conversation, what would happen then? If this was a human only brainstorming session, you would definitely want to name both parties, including ChatGPT, as inventors on any patent application you would file on this technology. But what does the law actually say right now about whether AIs can be named as inventors on patent applications? The short answer is that the law is currently in flux. In some jurisdictions, AIs are explicitly ineligible to be named as inventors on patent applications. In some jurisdictions, the issue ha is yet to come up. It hasn't yet been decided, hasn't been addressed by courts. But in some jurisdictions, it seems like AIs like ChatGPT could actually be eligible to be named as inventors on patent applications. For example, in a recent US case, an AI system called Dabis was named as a sole inventor on a patent application. And the United States Patent and Trademark Office looked at it and, and objected to it saying, this is an incomplete application because it doesn't name a human inventor. It ultimately went to court and a federal court of appeals affirmed a lower court decision saying that a patent application must only name human inventors. And this was an interpretation of current US patent law, which says that to be an inventor, it must be an individual and that the term individual only applies to humans. This Dabas AI system was actually named as the sole inventor on a bunch of different patent applications outside of the United States. And a few other courts also addressed this same issue. So for example, in Europe and Australia, the courts did the same thing as in the United States where they said human inventors cannot be eligible to be named as inventors on patent applications. But in Germany, the court hinted that well, an AI may not be able to be the sole inventor, AIs may be able to be named as co-inventors, or at least may be able to get some sort of credit as being involved in the inventing process, even if they're not named directly as an inventor. But in South Africa, the Dabas AI was actually granted a patent as the sole inventor, making South Africa the first country to actually recognize an AI as a patent inventor. At least under the current state of the law, it appears then that humans can take full credit for inventions that were co-invented with AIs or even take full credit for ideas that AIs came up with on their own. So if you're looking to come up with invention ideas using ChatGPT, it's essential to understand what sort of ideas can actually be patentable and what sort of ideas will come to the level where they can be patented. Now, this video right here has all the information you need to know about what makes ideas patentable, what's going to be patentable what's versus what's not going to be patentable, how to evaluate invention ideas. So go ahead and click here. We'll see you in this video.